be your own best friend, be your own booster. Just because other people don't see your worth doesn't mean that you are not worthy. You're the one that decides that. I ain't gonna be sitting here after freaking five years of growth and work and action that I've taken for myself and sit, ah, oh, I'm not in a relationship with someone, so that means that I'm not lovable. Fuck off, man. I'm lovable because I fucking believe I am. I'm lovable because I say I am. I'm lovable because I think I am. I'm Luke, and you're listening to the Luke Mind Power Podcast. What's up, everyone? How you doing? Hope you're doing amazing. Welcome to another episode on the Luke Mind Power Podcast. It's a blessing to be with you. It's a blessing to be alive. I'm very grateful to be doing what I'm doing. I'm very grateful to be sharing my wisdom and using these platforms for uh, spreading more you know, good energy out there because there's so much dark shit out there. There's so much negativity and it's very easy to fall into the trap of being on social media and looking at everything that's going wrong in the world. And then you feel like life is fucked and life is going bad. And remember that that which you focus on expands. So if you focus on everything that's going wrong, you'll see more of that. And then you'll attract more of that and you'll feel like shit's just not going your way. So very important to um, be conscious of what it is that you're consuming Obviously, you know, there are some bad things going on around the world and, uh, you know, it's very, very sad, but, um, you know, we also have to be a force for good as well. And, um, you know, the only way we can change the world is by changing ourselves. So um, the purpose of this podcast is also to spread more positivity and uh, more awareness of you uh, becoming the best version of yourself and and stepping more into unconditional self-love, being able to love yourself so much because then when you have self-love and you have so much love within yourself, guess what? That's what you are and that's what you project and that's what you give. And that's why I say you can't give what you don't have. And that's why for for any reason other than the fact that there's a lot of trauma out there, a lot of pain from the past, uh, you know, there's generational trauma. There's a lot of people that are still suffering because of the wars, World War One, World War Two, and it's just been passed down from generation to generation. And then a lot of us are still living with it and breathing it, and we don't even know that we have it, um, which is causing a lot of discomfort. Um, it's a low vibrational frequency, and uh, it doesn't help you to feel empowered and enlightened and strong and confident. That's why it's so important to work on yourself, you know, to, to overcome that, to, to heal from that so that you can actually step into your greatness and, uh, and, and do what you came here to do. But this podcast uh, is a special episode. Uh, but before I begin, uh, just um, a reminder that this episode is sponsored by Sunshine Amber Zena. Uh, she is a, an amazing woman who is on YouTube and has auctions and she sells Amber, which is uh, from Poland. And this amber, she sells amber jewelry and necklaces, um, jewelry and fashion accessories. And so uh, her YouTube channel, the link is in the description below. So check out her YouTube channel because uh, she sells and has these auctions on YouTube, live on YouTube. Um, She's amazing. It's Sunshine Amberzina on YouTube. And uh, the link for her YouTube channel is in the description below. Check her out. She is absolutely phenomenal. So this episode is a special episode. It's it's an episode that's going to touch a lot of people's hearts. Um, and it's something that I'm not going to mention any names or anything like that, but it's been inspired by somebody that I know. Um, and it's also inspired by my own journey because, and, and I think that it's going to, you're going to relate to this a lot because your own life you've probably experienced this in, in, in situations in your life as well. Um, and, and if you have, then let us know in the chat, let us know in the comments, whether or not you've felt ever in your life where you've just been ignored, where you've done so much good in your life, or you've done good things to people. And then all of a sudden, no one recognizes you for it, or you, you know, um, you've been told to be quiet or, you know, you, you'd never got that approval or that love from other people. And you were always trying to prove yourself that you are good enough, that you are worthy, you know, that, that you're lovable and, and you want people to love you. And you feel like, you know, you're being rejected and you've done so much, you know, good, so many positive things. And then all of a sudden, like, have you ever had an experience? Have you ever had an experience where you have poured your heart and your soul into something, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a friendship, whether it's your work, whether it's your business, whether whatever it is, have you ever had an experience where you fucking gave man, like you gave your heart so much and it was just rejected. It was never accepted. It was never loved. It was, you were never given back what you gave. Have you ever had that experience in your life? And then the next thing is, what did you do with it? Like the fact that you didn't get recognized, the fact that you didn't get loved, the fact that you never got in return what you gave, like sit there and feel that like moment again and how disgusting it is and how uncomfortable it is and how painful it is and how hurtful it is. And, um, 
it really does hurt. You know, you, you feel like you're stupid. You feel like you're not good enough. You feel like you're not intelligent enough. You feel like you can't even be happy because other people can't see your worth and appreciate you for the amazing person that you are. So you think to yourself, well, what the fuck do I have to do? Like, what do I have to do to be recognized? And when you've been through these kind of experiences, especially if you've been through that when you were a child, you know, if you were a child that wasn't heard or wasn't lifted up or or wasn't uh, encouraged or your parents never saw the greatness in you or, and the reason why they couldn't see the greatness in you is because they couldn't see it in themselves. You know, and that's why I always go back to you can't give what you don't have. And you don't know when you think about it, whatever your circumstances were or your parents' circumstances or their parents' circumstances, you know, like I said, it's generational trauma. It's been passed down from generation to generation and you can't give what you don't have. So if you don't have unconditional love and, and an open growth mindset and you were never successful, well, how can you expect that you would be raised in an environment that was very open-minded and very supportive and encouraging. You can't. Don't expect that. And that's why, again, it's so important to address these issues within yourself, to research your childhood, understand your parents, understand your parents' parents, and figure the shit out so that you can break free from the fucking shackles that are, that are, that are holding you back, that constantly pull you when you feel you're growing, and then all of a sudden you don't get the recognition, the support, the love, the, the encouragement that you think you deserve. And then you feel fucking less than, you feel like you're not good enough. You feel like you're not lovable. And the truth is you're giving your power away constantly because you're relying on someone else to fucking validate you. And it's not how it fucking works. How it works is when you validate yourself, how you approve of yourself, where you know that I'm fucking doing this and I'm doing it for me and whatever comes my way will come my way. What's meant for me will fucking suffice. What's not, it will fall off and not, it will not come. And so you have to be strong enough. And so when you go through this kind of an experience of like not feeling the reciprocation of the energy and the, the love that you've put out there, it's a great sign. It's a great opportunity for growth. It's a great uncomfortable experience to go through. And I know that you can sit there and go, how can you sit there and say that it's great? I'm like, because your pain is your power. I'm so fucking powerful because I've been hurt. Take a deep breath. And remember who the fuck you are. You are amazing. You're so strong to be rejected, to not be loved, to be pushed away, to be hurt, to not feel validated, not feel approved, to feel like you don't fit in, to feel like there's something wrong with you. You are amazing. This is the beautiful experience that you have to go through, uncomfortable experience of being rejected. And when you are rejected, remember, never reject yourself. People don't like you, make sure you like you. Everything starts with you. It's got nothing to do with anybody else. And that's why it's important to have an, a, 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 a mindset of a winner, a mindset of, of knowing your worth, of not relying. But I, I get it. Like when you're in a situation or an experience where you've done so much, and then all of a sudden, other people get recognized more than you do. And you're like, what? You're like, I fucking poured my heart and soul into this shit. And I'm not even being recognized. And that's why you have to see things from a different vantage point, you know? And so one vantage point could be, maybe God is doing this because I need more power. Maybe the universe is taking me through an experience like this because I need to be triggered. Because in my triggers, there is my pain. In my triggers, there is my emotion. In my triggers, there is my awareness of something that I need to address and look at from my childhood or how I was treated or the experiences that I went through that I've maybe never addressed or I've kept suppressed or I've never expressed of being able to talk about some of these experiences that I've never processed, which is why I'm continuously living on such a low frequency and self-belief, which is why I don't have the courage to make other possible changes in my life that could actually benefit me and, and could take me to the next level of where I'm supposed to be. 
and say, because we can't see it from that point, we're in just this emotion, we're in this pain, we're in this suffering state of that trigger, of that that reaction, you know, of that fight or flight kind of feeling because you feel like you've been hard done by. You feel like you haven't received the recognition and the love that you deserve. And so now, you know, you you just you just can't make sense of it. And that's why you can't live your life waiting around for other people's approval, for other people's encouragement, for other people's validation, because you will keep losing. If you are literally walking around here doing shit because you want other people to say, oh my gosh, you're such a good person. Oh, wow. I'm so inspired by you. You're you're so good. Oh, great. Oh, look what you're doing. Oh my gosh. High five. If you're going to live your life like that, you're going to lose. You're going to lose waiting for some external gratification that you're awesome, good on you. Like, thank you for doing what you're doing. The wrong people will not gravitate towards you. The wrong people will forget about you. The wrong people won't see you. The right people will. But even if they don't, the experience of self of what you've you're going through is a big blessing. It came for a reason to teach you something, came for you to learn something, came for you to be aware of stuff that you haven't worked on. Because if you had high self-worth, high self-confidence, if you had a lot of self-love, if you'd done a lot of work on yourself and you'd healed a lot, processed a lot, then it wouldn't bother you as much because you've got a conscience and you've also got karma. And you understand the law of reciprocity. You understand that what you put out comes back. You understand that what you focus on expands. And when you focus on being a good person, you always focus on the goodness. So you see more goodness. When you focus on doing the right thing and being uh, of inspiration or being you know, good to other people or doing good things, that you know yourself in your conscience that you're doing the right thing, which is a good vibration to be on. But if you're doing it because you want other people to see you that you're a good person, that you're good enough, then you're going to end up losing because you're basically giving your power away and you're relying on somebody else to make you feel a specific way because of the way that you act and show up, which is ludicrous. It's fucking stupid. That's why I keep emphasizing be in control of yourself. Have a good fucking relationship with yourself. Know yourself. Love yourself. Appreciate yourself. Don't give your power away and wait for other people to fucking tell you that you're enough, that you're good enough, that you're awesome, that you're amazing. You always will lose if you keep waiting for other people's recognition. Even when you deserve it the most, even when you think it's people that you love, you're still waiting for that shit. You go and you fucking do that for yourself every single day. That's what I do. I'm proud of you, Luke. You're awesome, Luke. You're amazing, Luke. I'm, you're, I'm inspired by you, Luke. Tell yourself that shit, man. How many times do I need to repeat myself? Be your own best friend. Be your own booster. Just because other people don't see your worth doesn't mean that you are not worthy. You're the one that decides that. I ain't going to be sitting here after freaking five years of growth and work and action that I've taken for myself and sit, oh, I'm not in a relationship with someone. So that means that I'm not lovable. That means that somebody else is not loving me and I haven't attracted that person into my life that I believe is the one. And so that makes me not lovable. Fuck off, man. I'm lovable because I fucking believe I am. I'm lovable because I say I am. I'm lovable because I think I am. Because what you think is what you become. So I get to decide if I'm fucking lovable or not. I get to decide if I'm enough or not. I get to decide this shit. Stop giving your power away to other people. So many of us are falling into this bullshit trap of waiting for this fucking external shit and it's not coming. And say, I'm not good enough. Oh, fucking hell. I didn't get what I deserve. I did all this work and it's not. Well, that's your problem. Keep thinking like that. Keep being like that. You'll keep feeling like that. That's a shit vibration. It's not a freaking good vibrational frequency for you to be elevated, for you to feel extraordinary, for you to go out there and live your fucking dreams. You're the one that's in your own way. You keep complaining because you ain't thinking differently. When you ain't thinking differently, you keep thinking the same. And when you think the same, you be the same and nothing changes in your fucking life. So you know who you are. I'm talking to you. And you needed to hit it like this because it does hurt. And I, and I had to say it that way because I've been through the shit and I've poured and I've poured and I've fucking emptied as I spoke to uh, 
my Ayurvedic uh, practitioner, I had a consultation at the Art of Living Retreat Center, and she said, you know, you can't pour from an empty well. Normally, I say you can't pour from an empty cup. She said, well, and I said, wow, that's a good analogy. I like that one. A well, you know, a well, the water goes all the way down, right? And you pump the water out. So, so, so many of us, we're not full enough of ourselves. What are you afraid of? People saying, oh, you're so full of yourself. It's like, yeah, good, because I'm fucking important because I give a shit about me. Because the more I give a shit about me, the more I give to me, the more I can give to others. The less I have, the less I can give. Doesn't that make sense to you? You don't understand? But you see, you want everything. The, the biggest one of the biggest problems, especially when you're working on your personal development and building a stronger, loving relationship, what happens? You get impatient. You're not where you want to be. You haven't changed enough. You haven't pursued enough. You haven't been persistent enough. You, you know, and so you fall off. One little fucking hiccup. Your emotions take over, and you go, "Fuck this! I'm stopping." You know, and it's like, no, get back on the horse, man. Get back on the horse. You got to keep going. It's not going to be nice and easy all the time. It's going to be uncomfortable. But let me tell you, man, there's going to be a lot of mountains you got to climb. And the more that you climb, the stronger you get. But once you get to the top, guess what? You're probably going to have to go back down to the bottom and then go up again because life is a roller coaster. You know, Ronan Keaty's song is, is I, and I've mentioned his song so many times. <laughs> I wonder if I'll ever meet him one day, Ronan Keating. Life is a roller coaster, it's just getting so whatever. I don't know the lyrics. But that song, Life is a Roller Coaster, it's freaking true. You know, sometimes it's up and sometimes it's down. Embrace the challenges, embrace the ups and downs. Understand that the pain and the challenges is really gives you the duality of the appreciation of when things are good, enjoy the shit out of it because it's not going to be that for long. Because sometimes shit's going to be shit, you know, but don't sit there and, and you know, and think that it's just going to always be like that. No, it's just temporary. It's something you got to go through. It's something that's teaching you. It's something that's going to hurt you. It's something that's going to change you. It's something that you've got to process. It's something that that is important. And whatever that situation is for you, and sometimes it requires reflection. Sometimes it requires for you to be gentle with yourself. Sometimes it requires you to slow down. And just be with yourself, be with your family, be with your loved ones, whatever that circumstance is for you. Sometimes that's what's required. It's not always 10,000 miles an hour. What my kind of life is like right now, man, I'm just like, sometimes I'm like, fuck, how am I doing all this? Like, I'm just like, it's from this phone to that phone, to this message, to that message, to this email, to this event, to this. And, uh, you know, and, and that's why I looked at my schedule over the next few days and I'm like, I am blocking out my whole calendar because I need some Luke time, some solitude, you know, and, um, and I know that it's hard, but you're harder. And you didn't come this far just to get this far. You came this far to, to get triggered. You came this far to feel uncomfortable again. You came this far to hear this episode. You came this far to hear this episode and go, oh my goodness, this is the best episode I've ever listened to and I need to share this with all of my friends. And, and you name it, there's many people that are relate to this kind of experience of not feeling good enough, of doing so much for, for someone or, or for a lot of people and then not feeling recognized or not receiving that recognition or not being encouraged enough or loved whatever that circumstance is for you, especially like, you know, I think the most important or, or one of the best examples is, is relationships because we yearn for that connection. You know, we're, we're, we're emotional beings and, and, and it's such a beautiful thing. You know, when I see couples, for example, on when I, when I'm looking through Instagram sometimes and I see, I see couples that are really happy, you know, and again, it's like, you don't really know because, you know, it, Instagram and social media is, is a bit of a facade, you know, it's, um, what you see is not necessarily all the time what the truth is behind closed doors. You know what I mean? Um, what does that mean that, that, that my content is a facade? No, I guess, I mean, if you came in like, actually like, I'm sure that this is probably going to happen in the future. I'm probably going to have a dude that like is like following me around all the time with a camera um, just to like, maybe it would be like a vlog for a month on YouTube to just like document like what 
is Luke's life really like? Like, what does he do? How, how is his life? Is his life like really the the way that he portrays it to be? Uh, like on social media, dancing and this and this and this. And and I definitely do that because I believe that it's important to be transparent and for people to see the other side as well. Because most of you guys, I mean, if, if all of you guys don't see what I go through, what I do, how I work, how I function, how I sleep, what time I go to bed, like all the things I have to do every single day to be the person that I am. Um, and that's again, like some people would say, oh, why bother? It's just too much. It's like, well, you choose, man. Like, what do you want to do? Who do you want to be? Like, what kind of life do you want to live? Do you, do you want to, you know, some people could say, well, it's too much pressure and I'd just rather just go to work and come home and not have to think about, but I guess, you know, it's, it's more about your fulfilling, your fulfillment, you know, your calling, what makes sense to you, what resonates with you, what is in alignment with you and what gives you the sense of accomplishment. You know, and for me, like dancing and the content that I produce is fun. It's enjoyable. I love doing it. You know, I, when I hear a new song, like I, I just posted a new song with um from Timmy Trumpet. It's, you know, Don't Worry, Be Happy. And it's a remix, a dance remix. And as soon as I heard it, I was like, I got excited like a little kid. You know, I got excited to like quickly make the TikTok video and like post something because I, I was so excited about it, you know. And, and that's one of the things that I actually invite you to have a look at. What does that younger version of yourself like doing? And, and, you know, cause people could say, you know, you're a 39 year old man going and dancing in the forest barefoot. And, and you could almost just go, this guy's freaking weird. And, and, and I could let those opinions control me, but I don't let them control me because I, I really enjoy it. <laughs> I love it. I love dancing. I, I, it's such a good vibe. And it's so, so healing. Like part of somatic healing is, is movement, you know, and it's almost like a lot of my own healing is coming because I move my body and I dance. So I'm shaking off all the trauma. I'm shaking off all the emotional trauma. I'm shaking off all the triggers. I'm shaking off all that suppressed energy all the time. And it does take time. Could be generational trauma as well that I'm holding on to and I'm shaking it off every time I dance. And then I'm also using the form of this form of expression, communicate, have the right people, have the right coaches uh, so that you can communicate your, your, your pain and your suppressed or trapped energy or your uh, stuff that you've been through you've never spoken about and release it. Everything that you reveal, you heal. Um, so it's really about you kind of like paying attention to your life and, and, and questioning, am I fulfilled? Am I doing what I enjoy? Am I passionate about what I'm doing? Because, yeah, there's no way that – and that's why I say, like, once you make breakthroughs, once you work on yourself, once you grow and you build stronger self-love and you step more into alignment with who it is that you're meant to be and, and you start feeling happier and, and, and things start, you know, changing in your life, then you'll feel it and it will make sense to you. And most importantly, you'll never want to go back to that which hurt you. And, I, you know, I think about my past and I'm like, it's the past. Leave it there. I don't need to go back. I'm too far ahead now. So this is part of the journey for yourself in knowing that you may have come this far and you may have done some work on yourself or you may have thought that you're making progress, but it's important for you to keep moving forward and for you to keep staying consistent and for you to keep surrounding yourself with that environment that is actually complementing your life, that environment that has got you to where you are, that environment that is actually a positive space. Because as soon as you let that drop off or you stop or you get stagnant, or you let that experience of whatever that happened to you that made you feel inferior, insecure, I'm not good enough, not intelligent enough, not lovable, I feel rejected, I don't feel encouraged, I don't feel validated, I don't feel approved, I didn't get what I want, I didn't get the recognition I want. All of a sudden, you're allowing the emotions to control you, and then guess what happens? You drop off. You fall off the horse, you know, and then you lose momentum, and then all the stuff that you've done to get yourself to where you, where you were slowly starts to dissipate. And then all of a sudden you find yourself three weeks later, four weeks later, five weeks later, six weeks later, two months later, becoming the old version of yourself again, thinking the same way that you used to think, falling into depression again. That's how easy it is. And look, it's not a bad place to be. And I know you're, you're like, what do you mean it's not a bad place to be? Sometimes we have to go backwards. That's why I say like, in order to find yourself, you have to lose yourself. And sometimes you need to lose yourself a few times. 
because you've got to go through these experiences of being on the floor in the dirt. Like imagine yourself right now in the middle of the forest. It's just woods and the rain has just stopped. And as you're walking, you've just tripped over. You've, you fell on the floor and now you've realized that you've just snapped your ankle. You can't move. You're stuck. And so what you're lying on is sticky, thick dirt and you've snapped your ankle. So you can't even get up. And in that moment, you feel like giving up. What are your what are your options? Just lie there, just keep staying there. But you know how to get out and you've still got one good leg. Many of us are in that forest lying there with a f- snapped ankle. And so I want you to appreciate the uncomfortable moment in your life right now. I want you to appreciate how disgusting it feels, how shit it feels. Because the truth is you you need to feel this. You need to feel what you don't want to feel for a specific amount of time before you get the fuck up and you make your way out of the forest. So many of us have to stay on that dirt. We have to lie there for quite some time until it hurts enough. Many of us will try to get up and then we will fall again. And we'll try to get up and we'll fall again. And then the question is, how many times are you willing to get back up after how many times you fall? So you're lying there still. And, you know, it's been an hour now. Now you're, you're you know, an hour lying in the mud, in the forest. Like, it's still raining. Your, your ankle's swelling up. It's fucked. Absolutely. Like, you can see the there's a piece of bone that's hanging out of your ankle as well. Right. And it's like you look at it and you're just like, oh my God, my, my, I can't even like, you know, that you can't walk on that fucking leg. But you know how to get out of the forest because you've been there before. You're looking and you're lying on the ground and you're looking at this piece of stick. It's a freaking strong like branch. It's lying right there. And so you start to think, you're like, damn, I need to get out of here. Like, how am I going to get out of here? Then you see another branch and you're like, okay. And so you start to think, you're like, damn, I need to get myself up. I need to get out of here. I can't stay here anymore. And so, you know, you put two and two together and, you know, you rip off your shirt and you tie up your ankle and you grab those two branches and you use them like you're skiing and you get up and you start to walk with your one leg. And yeah, those branches, they're strong enough. And eventually you make it to the outer skirts of the forest where you parked your car. And so this is the process for many of us that sometimes that doesn't happen just one time. That happens many times. And sometimes it happens because we're still not aware of our power. Sometimes it happens because we just don't have the confidence in ourselves to stand up for ourselves. We don't have the relationship with ourselves. We were never taught to love ourselves. We were never taught to have our own back. We don't have the right people in our life. So we don't have that level of self-awareness to be able to make the right decisions in our life. So we keep being pushed around, keep being bullied. We keep being called names. We keep allowing the external world to control us and how we think about ourselves. Because every time that something happens, what happens? You fall over and you trip. And then you end up on that mud again. So my question to you is, how many times do you want to trip over that rock? Because you're not doing the work that you're supposed to be doing. How many times do you want to keep tripping and fucking your ankle and lying in that mud while it's raining and being in your own way because you don't want to be persistent and consistent and because you haven't changed the way you think and so you see everything as a threat when really everything that's happening in your life is happening on purpose. It's happening as a blessing. It's happening to teach you. It's happening to build you up. It's happening to fuel you. So that you can have the pain to be able to use it as your strength to be able to continue to persevere. You see, you are more resilient than you believe and understand and appreciate that you are. And you've been through so much in your life, but yet you still fall down every time you don't get what you want. It's like a fucking tantrum. It's like a five-year-old kid not getting a fucking lollipop and he's screaming for it and he doesn't get the lollipop. So what happens? The kid goes onto the floor and starts fucking screaming. Ah, give me the fucking lollipop. I'm scared. I'm fucking unhappy. I'm not getting it. I'm not happy. So when you react that way and you're triggered and you go and crawl in your little fucking hole, all, of, all you're doing is you're going back to being a kid. All you're doing is that activating activation of your inner child you going back to your childhood 
hence why it's so important to work on your past. Just because you've done a lot of work, possibly if you have, doesn't mean it's over. Just because I've done so much work and I am who I am and I do what I do and I'm as powerful as I am and I'm in flow and I'm in alignment and I'm living my freaking dreams doesn't mean that I'm never going to be triggered again. Doesn't mean that there's no opportunities for me to grow. Absolutely there are. There's always going to be things that come up. There are always going to be words that may trigger me that I haven't healed from or that I hear and receive from people's energy or maybe just people's energy that is uncomfortable for me, that doesn't complement my life, that is disturbing my peace, that I have to work through. It is what it is, man. It is part of the life, the journey, the transformation, the evolution, your evolution. It's evolving or repeating. And this is where you're at in your life. You can choose, evolve or repeat, because if you keep repeating yourself, you will keep staying where you are. But anyway, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that episode. I don't know where that analogy came from, but I've been doing a lot of dancing in the forest and it just came to me and I was like, you know what? I'm going to make an analogy about that. And shout out to my one of my best friends. His name's Hung Mai. I haven't seen him for a while, but and he probably won't listen to this episode anyway. But when we were growing up and uh, I was living, um, oh, I wasn't living, but I'd go over his place me and him, we always had really good analogies. And I, I remember it. Like, and if he listens, to start, like if he ever listened to my podcast, he would, he would appreciate that. And he would be like, oh my gosh, like you're using what we used to talk about, like all these different ways of like trying to explain stuff, you know? And, and these analogies are very powerful because it really gives us perspective of like trying to understand the circumstances and situations that we're kind of dealing with in our own life. But anyway, guys, uh, I love you. I believe in you. Never give up on your dreams, okay? I hope to see you at one of my upcoming events. Um, all you need to do is click on the link in the description below, which will be uh, whatever event I've got coming up. Um, there's always virtual access tickets and live stream tickets as well. So if you can't make it in person, don't make excuses. Get into the room because it's going to be freaking powerful. Any event I do, wherever I speak, is going to be extraordinary. And uh, I always enter with a freaking amazing dance and then probably exit with a dance and we always have a party. Um, so there's a lot of, lot of positive energy, which is so beautiful that I love to bring to these events um, because we need more of that. And, and this is really what lifts our vibrational frequency and also heals our body as well because we're moving um, and also connecting with that energy of sound uh, is very healthy as well. Um, so make sure you join us at our next events as well uh, and make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel and uh, like it and leave us a comment. Tell us uh, what you thought and uh, how you relate to this episode as well and what your challenges are. And if this episode has actually helped you, let me know in the comments as well. Um, and I can't wait to see you on the next episode and be sure to share this with your friends. If you're listening on Spotify and Apple, please do yourself a huge favor <laughs> and me leave a five star rating and a re review and, and also share this with your friends as well. Okay. I'm sending you so much love and I hope to see you at my next events um, or uh, on the live stream as well. All right. So I'll talk to you soon and I'll see you on the next episode as well. All right. Peace out, guys. Thank you for joining me on this journey of self-discovery and growth. If you're ready to grow and reach your full potential and find inner peace, send me a DM that says, I want inner peace and I'll send you the next steps. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. When you change your mind, you change your whole life. So don't hesitate and send that DM over to me. Myself and my team can't wait to meet you and witness your transformation in full glory. See you next week.